Hey, so in this video, you're going to discover three tips for creating packaging for e-commerce. It's going to be useful for those who are looking to create physical products for e-commerce. I'm going to have some nice tips for you. So please watch the video. I'm going to have timestamps for each tip. And we're going to start right now with me, Simon. He is located in China currently. He has a company there, a factory that helps people with their packaging. So they create beautiful packaging for e-commerce sellers and entrepreneurs. So we're going to have his factory link in the description with a good offer for his services. And uh, Simon, can you introduce yourself, please? And then we're going to dive into the three tips. And yeah, let's help people. Yes, perfect. Thank you, Uva. Uh, let's just jump right into it. So I'm Simon. Hi, everyone. We have a packaging business here in China and we create packaging that is a product. It's not product packaging. It's a packaging that is a product itself. Okay. So we are very passionate about giving the extra touch and doing something which is, which will stand, eventually stand out and give the, the, uh, the final customer a very strong impression about your brand and about what you do. Now, today I want to talk about packaging for e-commerce in general. So e-commerce is very much different from the retail store. So in a retail store, there is it's a different game, okay? So if you go on a retail store and you get your package, there is a lot to do about the strong colors and there is uh, some different psychology how to attract the person. But when you're buying something online, the package is, you're actually touching the package after you already bought the product and not before you bought the product. So... The mm -hmm. game is quite different. Now, there is three things which I want to focus today. There is a lot to, a lot to talk about packaging. I'm very passionate about this, about this subject, so we can talk till tomorrow. But for today, I want to discuss about three most important things that I see about packaging for e-commerce. And the first would be sustainability. Sustainability is the subject, subject that everybody is talking about right now everywhere uh, from africa to asia to usa to europe everybody is talking about sustainability it's a very important issue obviously we need to consume in a more responsible way and just make sure we don't uh, waste too much and sustainability goes in a lot of different kind of uh, subjects like it goes from the size from the footprint from the raw material there is different many different angles to tackle this issue now I would say that, first of all, for e-commerce, you must do your best to make sure that you don't use extra packaging. First of all, because if you use packaging which you don't really need, you're gonna, it's going to cost you more because there is more place in the container and finally uh, more to pay in the, in the last mile delivery. So it doesn't really make, make sense to not paying attention to the size of your product, to optimize the size as much as you can. That's the first thing I would say. And regarding sustainability, the second thing I would say is regarding uh, sustainability is that is to use as less plastic, foam, and uh, things that uh, harm the environment. And they don't really give a good impression to the final customer these days because the customers these days, so six, seven years ago, when we talk about sustainability, it went from loss that was imposed by the government and that's how people start to be aware of it. Now it goes from down up. Now people are demanding, people are asking the government to change the laws and to make things more sustainable because the awareness is much different than, than years ago. So now when someone receives a package, usually they will think, why do I need all this foam? Why do I need all this plastic? There is a much better way to do it and we don't need to use all this waste. So first is the size, which minimizes the footprint. So more size, of packaging, it's more footprint and less size is less footprint. Second is the raw material. And the final thing I want to say is the art finishing. Okay, so there is some uh, art finishing which are not really eco-friendly. And in the next video and some other videos, I can give uh, tips on how to make beautiful packaging yet eco-friendly with beautiful art finishing. But this is something to consider. In general, all the things I want to say about sustainability. The second tip on a packaging for e-commerce would be the first impression from the design point of view. Okay, so first of all, what is a smart design? I think a smart design, it's a design that tells the company's story. Okay, so you have a company, you have a story. Someone must do as much as possible to tell the story of the brand through the visuals. This is something that in e-commerce is more important because... The communication with your customer doesn't go much beyond the packaging, okay? He opens the packaging, he opens the product, and this is the time of the communication between the seller and the buyer, okay? So design is very important. 
Second thing is the, I call it the real estate area of the media or the... Advertisements. Yeah. So there is, the package has two sides. And you, often I see people that are trying to save a little bit on printing. So they will just print from the outside and they won't print from the inside. And I think this is a big mistake because you already have the real estate where you can communicate with your customer and you're supposed to do as much as you can to communicate your ideas, stories, whatever it is. Using both sides, it's something that's especially important in e-commerce businesses. Before we jump into number three, can you explain on the second one why it's important to use two sides? Like what makes it important? Maybe a seller is listening. He's like, yeah, interesting, but I'm not using the second side. Why should I? Or I don't even know that you, or what do you mean? Can you explain a little bit? Like, you know, to print on two sides or something like that, what, what's the benefit? Or what can you print there even? Can you give an example, maybe something like this? Yeah, wait, let me show you. Okay, so we have a package here. It's, okay, it's a very simple one. I won't really show the brand because I'm not allowed. But as you can see, there is printing from the inside and there is printing from the outside. So when someone opens the package and there is printing inside and there is a message inside, that's a little bit more time of communication between the seller and the buyer, okay? Mm -hmm. But when you only have something that you say outside or the back of the box, which you don't really read the back of the box, most people don't, okay? But they do read when they open. So I think it's another opportunity to communicate, which we don't really want to miss. That's why I think it's very important. So the first thing is sustainability. Second thing is design. And the third thing I want to say is the packaging component. Packaging component goes about adding another thank you card. Okay. Or for example, if you sell a book, you can wrap the book nicely in something that feels good. Okay. Some, some tissue paper or something that will, as soon as the, the, the customer is taking the, the, pack, the, the product out of the box, he will have some kind of feeling, okay? And this feeling is another way of communicating, okay? Mm -hmm. It's communicating luxury, it's communicating something is, uh, okay? So thinking about packaging component, about the small details is important, okay? So it, it doesn't just go, uh, it goes much beyond thank you card and tissue paper. It goes about small stickers when you open the box or some nice touch, in the paper inside or some crunch it out, touch outside. There is a lot of small things that packaging can communicate a luxury brand. And mm. this is the three things that I would say that is important for e-commerce. So again, mm. to sum up, the first thing is sustainability. The second thing is the design. And the third thing is the packaging component. That I would say is very important. Yeah. Yeah, man. Pretty awesome. In the description, we're going to have your contacts and of course, of Eco Brothers. So people who are looking for packaging solutions like you have it you can help with packaging and you can also consult i guess on what's better so if someone's looking for creating a luxury brand any packaging maybe based on your knowledge and experience you can explain that it was really interesting like yeah like the touch and all these things like the you know the shapes there's things that I don't know, but you know what communicates luxury or what communicates maybe some other feeling that you want to communicate, right? So then people can talk to you and get the ideas or actually create those with you. So we're going to have the link to your factory with a good offer for our viewers. And thank you very much for those tips, man. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Vova.